Welcome to Retro Arcade Reviews. My name is John, and in this episode, we will be reviewing the arcade classic Karnov. Karnov is a side scrolling platformer that was developed by Data East in 1987. Now, when I was a kid, this game filled me with wonder. I mean, the character was so original and mysterious. He looked like some kind of mythical genie or something. I always wondered if Karnov was part of some sort of Middle Eastern or Arabian lore I didn't know about, like Alibaba and the 40 Thieves, or something like Gilgamesh. As I did a deep dig on the game, much to my disappointment was that Karnov, the character, wasn't based on any Middle Eastern myth or anything at all. It does have some iconography to create an impression of Middle Eastern ambience for the story, but that's as far as it goes. According to the arcade flyer, Karnov is a Russian circus strongman in search of the lost treasure of Babylon, and based on the character's appearance, I would have to say, yeah, he does somewhat resemble a Victorian era style circus strongman. However, in the 2002 book Cho Arcade, three former anonymous Data East developers in a roundtable interview state that the likeness of Karnov was a spitting image of a ball at Data East. So basically, Karnov's appearance was just based on three guys who decided to make fun of their boss. But apparently, it didn't stop there as Karnov makes numerous appearances in several Data East games. In this game, you play as Jimborov Karnovsky, also known as Karnov. As stated earlier, you're on a quest to find the lost treasure of Babylon. You must fight, fly, and swim your way through nine stages to obtain pieces of a map that would lead you to retirement-worthy riches. Now, if you're a casual gamer like myself and never played the game before, good luck getting to the second board because it's pretty difficult. The arcade game, that is, not including emulators. Added to its difficulty is that when you die, the game throws you back to the beginning or a mid-stage checkpoint, which only adds to the frustration, and not in a good way like Kid Nicky. Your only hope is getting the triple flame and pronto, which can make getting through the game a tad bit easier. You'll also have several items that can aid you in your quest, like bombs, ladders, and boomerangs. But in the end, it really doesn't matter because the game is still hard despite these aids, and what makes things worse is that if you stand too long in one place, these plant-like things fall from the sky and then they plant themselves and they start shooting fireballs at you, which <laughs> makes things really, really annoying. Karnov was ported over to the NES, the Amstrad, ZX Spectrum, and the Commodore 64. Karnov's appearances and cameos in other games did help with the overall lasting popularity of the original arcade game and making Karnov somewhat of an unofficial mascot for Data East. Despite the character's creation origin and the game's insane difficulty, Karnov is still a very known, original, and unique character. And if you get the chance just to sample the game, I say play the game and let me know what you think.